So I got a comment earlier about the practice test that I posted before. It was just some videos that I posted about the Accuplacer Advanced Algebra and Functions when I was going over that. And the comment that I received back was that I was going a little bit too fast through the problems and I didn't cover it as thoroughly as I've covered other problems. So I wanted to say thank you for that feedback. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to go over each one of the questions in the practice test. So this here is the question number one is from the actual practice test. Then I'm going to give you guys two of my own examples that mimic that first question so that we can really cover each one of these problems thoroughly. I'm going to do one video each and I'm going to continue to post until I've gotten them all out. And I'm going to try to give you guys as many practice problems as possible. Also, today on Amazon, I purchased a microphone to try to make my videos sound better for you guys. And it was like a microphone attached to a light, this whole thing. And it just, the microphone didn't even end up working. The light is great, but I needed a microphone. So if you guys know any good microphones, please just um, link it below for me. That would be very, very helpful because I want you guys to be able to hear me. All right, let's go ahead and question number one. It says function g is defined by g of x is equal to 3x plus 8. What is the value of g of 12? Okay, so this can look intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. All it's saying is the function g, that's why it's called g of x, function g is 3x plus 8. So g of x just stands for whatever the input is for x, that's what you put into the equation. So g of 12, the input for x is going to be 12. That means in the equation 3x plus 8, wherever you see the x, instead of putting the x, you're going to put the number 12. So we're going to put 3, parentheses, 12 plus 8. Okay? So now we're going to write down the order of operations, PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses. So if there is an action inside the parentheses, you do the parentheses first. So there is an action inside the parentheses. There is an addition. So we do 12 plus 8. So 12 plus 8 is equal to 20. Then you bring down the parentheses and you bring down the 3. So now we have a multiplication sentence. 3 times 20. So we're going to head and do that, 3 times 20, that's 20, 40, 60. So the answer is going to be 60. So when you input the number 12 into this function, you get an output of 60. So the answer is going to be D. Let's go ahead and practice that two more times. Again, that is the question on the official practice test. I'm going to link that below so that you guys can also follow along. But now I have two questions that I made myself that are going to be similar to that one so that we can make sure we practice and we get this down. Also, sorry, my lap, my iPad is dying. I just tutored. Guys, oh my goodness, I really need to get it together. One of you commented and said, oh, Miss Amber, I love your videos because your iPad is always almost dying. Okay, so function f is defined by f of x is equal to 2x plus 5. What is the value of f of 20? In this case, the function is f. So the equation for the function is 2x plus 5. They're telling us the f of x is f of 20. That means wherever we have the x in the equation, we're going to input 20. So 2, 20 plus 5. So we're going to write down the order of operations, PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. And we're going to do the parentheses first. If there's an action inside the parentheses, that was, that's what we do. There is an action inside the parentheses, 20 plus 5. That's 25. And then 25 times 2. So, yes, this is a parentheses. But in this case, because there's no action inside the parentheses, it's actually acting as a multiplication sentence. It's saying 2 times 25. 2 times 25 is equal to 50. So when f of 20 is entered into the equation, x is going to be equal to 50. All right, and let's go ahead and do this one more time. 
you guys can look at this and maybe you could try it on your own and press pause and then see how I would answer it. It says function D is defined by D of X is equal to 3X minus 14. What is the value of D of 25? Okay, so D of X is equal to 3X minus 14. So D of 25 means wherever there's an X, you enter in 25. So three times 25 minus 14. I write the order of operations, PEMDAS, and I do parentheses first. Is there an action inside the parentheses? Yes, there is. 25 minus 14. 20, 25 minus 14, that's 11. And then I'm gonna bring down the three. I've done the parentheses. Since this is no longer any action inside the parentheses, this now becomes a multiplication sentence. Three times 11, or three times 11. Three times 11 is 33. So when you put in 25 as an input to function D, your output is going to be 33 for X. Okay, so I hope this video was much more thorough than the other videos that I put up. But I just wanna let you know, if this is not the pace that you like to go at, that's fine. But I'm just doing this so that some people can watch my other videos. If you watch my other videos and you really like it, the benefit of watching that video is that it has all the problems to the practice tests, the majority of them in one video. Just get through them if you can. But if you watch the other video and you say, oh, Miss Amber, two things, please go slower, please explain more, and please give more examples, then this video or these are the videos that you wanna see. So I'm going to continue to post these videos one question at a time. I'm gonna do one question from the practice test, two of my own example problems, and we are going to get through this al advanced algebra and functions practice test. And you guys are gonna feel more confident when you go in and you take your AccuPlacer. Please comment below again, if you know any good microphones for YouTube, please, please, please. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. See you in the next one.